Good afternoon, we have our latest video update on uh, former Tropical Depression 96W which has now been upgraded to a Tropical Storm uh, Tembin. This is the 14th named Tropical Storm in the 2012 Pacific Typhoon season. We have continued to watch this tropical system as it meanders east of Luzon, approximately located 330 kilometers east of um, Togegarao City here in Cagayan. Maximum sustained winds of up to 75 km per hour with gusts of up to 110 km per hour. Uh, the system is currently moving southeastward uh, very slowly at 10 km per hour. And you can see in this latest satellite image that the system has that uh, very good uh, cyclonic, uh, cyclonic rotation on it. Uh, some good outflow poleward and even equatorward outflow. Um, a very symmetrical look. Um, and continues to intensify actually, although thankfully much of the convection remains offshore, although it is enhancing some rains across uh, northern Luzon, some areas here receiving up to 50 millimeters of rain the past 24 hours, particularly here across Ilocos uh, regions and even into the mountain province, Baguio City is still reporting around 50 to 100 millimeters, um, partly induced by the circulation of the system. Uh, again, the system is inside the Philippine area of responsibility, so we have uh, Pagasa has given the local name IGME on uh, our tropical storm Tembin, and they have also issued signal number uh, signal number one for the provinces of Isabela and Cagayan. As the system remains uh, near these provinces, not uh, expecting uh, strong stormy conditions, however. You could see some gusty winds tonight and into tomorrow and even some, some rough waves across the eastern seaboard of Luzon and also um, light rains, uh, possibility as this uh, convection is being enhanced by um, the system and also some possible uh, rains could also form across central and southern Luzon and even to Visayas as southwest monsoon is uh, enhanced by the system in the coming days. Now you can see in this infrared image the convection is still pretty light actually with uh, the convection, strong convection partly on the eastern side of the system. Uh, there is some impinging on the northern side uh, partly because of a strong subtropical ridge situated uh, northeast of the system and that is bringing some, uh, and some strong uh, northeasterly upper level winds is um, it difficult for that uh, central dense overcast or this uh, system to uh, solidify. However, we are seeing very good poleward outflow into a tut cell or a tropospheric uh, trough, a tropical upper tropospheric trough uh, east of the system. Now, the while the infrared convection shows a very weak uh, activity, the microwave image taken roughly an hour ago shows very strong convective banding occurring near the inside the system and you can actually see the center of the storm captured well by the, the uh, satellite and what seems to be an eye wall that is starting to form actually uh, inside the uh, canopy. The agencies are an analyzing Tembin as a weak tropical storm but I actually think they are somewhat underestimating the strength of our current system again due to this microwave image of course th there could be some fluctuations in the, the next few days uh, with regards to the um, intensification of the system there could be some drier entrainment and some disruptions brought about by the um, subtropical ridge to the north but nevertheless the system does look strong right now and in fact does look stronger than what the uh, current agencies are suggesting now the system will continue to intensify as it moves northward and you can see in this latest forecasts from the agencies tracking it starting to actually move southeastward and then it should track north under the influence of the ridge um, moving towards Taiwan by the latter part of this week perhaps making landfall in Hualien or in uh, Yilan County by as early as Thursday afternoon again the system will intensify under favorable conditions and could actually become a typhoon as early as uh, Tuesday um, JTW is expecting a peak intensity of around 130 kilometers per hour, so a category one system, but still a very uh, big threat 
for Eastern Taiwan and for Taiwan as a whole as uh, the system could uh, bring some uh, very he heavy rainfall again in the next few days in this region. Now, Tem Tembin will, uh, after making landfall, will cross the Taiwan Strait and perhaps make a second landfall here along the southeastern coast of China, probably weakening to a tropical storm after making landfall here in uh, Taiwan. But the uh, forecast cone of error from the agencies is still very big as there are still some uncertainties with regards to the strength of the ridge uh, and the weakness uh, that is forecast to occur by um, Monday and uh, so anyone from basically from southern Taiwan and still all the way into Okinawa could still con should still continue to monitor the developments of the system because it could still go either way but the uh, probability of a strike here in Taiwan is increasing as the system continues to uh, meander here in eastern Luzon but for right now uh, the threat remains across um, Kagan and Isabella for some gusty winds, uh, some light rains perhaps, and some rough waves across eastern seaboard of Luzon. And also actually for the islands here north of Luzon, we have Babuya, uh, Batanes, Babuyan and Klein group of islands here as well. So they could, still, uh, they could also feel some uh, effects, indirect effects from the system in the coming days. Now I showed I'm showing the um, latest current model forecast for uh, Tim Tembin, and uh, you can see pre some pretty good agreement. I mean, we have GFS here being the northern outlier, uh, CMC moving into Taiwan and then making a turn back to the uh, back to the east. So the general idea is that this system will strike will start tra tracking north and then perhaps make a turn to the west potentially making landfall in Taiwan in the coming days now this system right here being shown by the models is of somewhat particular particularly of, of interest because uh, it could become a cyclone in the next 24 to 48 hours this is uh, invest 97w uh, east of uh, west of Guam I'm sorry and you can see in this latest uh, infrared image from National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration we have actually watching we are actually watching two disturbances 97W and 98W and uh, pretty close to each other somewhat connected along this monsoon trough extending from the Philippine Sea all the way across Marianas and um, the computer models are currently keying on 97W becoming a cyclone and perhaps absorbing 90W in the process as it moves northward and then eventually make a turn to the uh, to the northwest. We have here the infrared animation again showing you uh, Tembin pretty good circulation overall strengthening tropical system and we also have 97 and 98W still pretty much disorganized in terms of the convective banding although the low level circulation center of these systems are uh, pretty much organized very weak winds around 30 f to 40 kilometers per hour however JTWC has upgraded both the system's chances to medium uh, for the possibility of um, tropical cyclone development and they too are expecting this system sy two systems to merge in the next two days two to three days as they near uh, each other now the main threat for this system will be across the Marianas Islands bring some uh, wide sp uh, widespread light to moderate rains in the next two to three days as the system tries to consolidate uh, in that region now the system again will track northwestward and under the influence of subtropical ridge intensifying along the way and perhaps we could be dealing with a typhoon by the latter part of the week some actually most of the models are showing uh, the next system to form in this region and move westward become a typhoon as it enters the Philippine area of responsibility perhaps by as early as Thursday. You can also see in this latest wind shear map uh, we have some pretty good um, atmospheric conditions very light uh, upper level winds around 10 to 5 to 10 knots for both of the 96 and uh, 97 and 98W and even for Tembin uh, very light upper level winds here as well 10 just 10 knots so helping uh, both of the systems uh, to possibly continue intensifying our uh, focus right now however remains on Tembin which continues to intensify and could perhaps be a threat to Taiwan 
by the latter part of this week. That ends our update for the day and continue to check out Pegasa for the latest. They will be putting up their 5 p.m. bulletin so they will it could be updating the uh, signal warnings this afternoon so check that out as well and also may for the continuous updates on Tembin and also our two developing systems out in the uh, western pacific more importantly if you are in taiwan continue to closely monitor the developments of Tembin and uh, start preparing now as the probabilities of a landfall are continuing to increase uh, day by day take care guys bye